Hey guys, and welcome to another video tutorial. I know that I've already done a tutorial on grass, however I didn't particularly like what the uh, output render was, and I can do a better job. Um, so I've been working on grass for some time now, and I am ready to give another tutorial on it. So let's get started. Uh, go ahead and open up a new scene, change the uh, renderer from cycles to blender render, uh, go ahead and delete the uh, plane, or delete the cube and insert a plane. Uh, scale that up to about the size of the, the grid. Uh, tap into edit mode and hit W and click on subdivide. Change the number of cuts to 6. Uh, we could add bumpiness using the fractal, but um, that doesn't give us a whole lot of control and there are better ways of doing it. So, um, hit control 1 to uh, give it a subsurf modifier and now go over into the materials and give it a material let's call it ground now come over to the textures and insert the name displacement one or disp one and set it to a cloud type change the size to 0 0.12 and the depth to 4 now come over to the modifiers tab and uh, give it a displacement modifier set the texture to disp1 and you can see that our plane is really bumpy so what we're going to do is we're going to change the strength to 0 0.113 now let's add it another uh, subdivision modifier and it's starting to look a little bit better set the shading to smooth change the render on the first subsurf down to 1 now come back over to the uh, textures uncheck disp1 and give it a new texture and call it disp2 or displacement2 and set the type to clouds and set the size to 0 0.30 and the depth to 0 just go ahead and uncheck that too this will take away all of the pink stuff that was showing up on the material okay so let's go ahead and add another uh, displacement modifier uh, set this one's texture to disp2 and you can see really big bumps let's go ahead and turn this down to 0 0.05 okay so there is our terrain looking pretty good now um, change the render amount on the second displacement or the sub second subsurf to 2 or to 1 excuse me and give it another subsurf okay let's set up the camera let's just bring that in there and rotate it down you just want to get all of the terrain inside the camera so it looks something like that now what we're going to do we're going to eliminate unnecessary uh, uh, vertices because what blender will do is it will actually render all of the particles outside of the camera and that will just slow down our render time so it will speed up it'll speed things up if we delete anything that's not on the camera now if you were doing an animation where you were panning over the grass um, this wouldn't work out so well because you would get a big edge but yeah so if you delete too many vertices or the wrong vertices um, just hit Control Z and bring them back and go along one at a time and delete vertices. Okay, so that's starting to look pretty good. I'm just going to rotate the camera a little bit now. There we go. Okay. So that's looking good. Um, so when you're done, it should kind of look like that. A little, almost a cone not a cone, but a, I don't know. Anyway, so let's go ahead and give it another material. Let's call it grass. We'll leave these uh, materials alone for now, um, but go over into the particle settings, give it a new particle system, call it grass, and grass again. Set the type to hair, and first thing you'll notice is it's way too long and doesn't look very good. Uh, tick advanced and set the amount to oh, 
15,000, that's too many. 15,000. Okay. And click on random and set the normal amount to 0 0.070 and that will shorten up our grass a lot. So it's looking better, but it isn't what we need. So uh, under Brownian, set that to 0 0.020 and that will just give it a little bit more randomness starting to look a little bit more like grass. Um, Sent the uh, material under render to 2. Uh, tick strand render and b-spline. These will make it render faster and work a little bit better. Now, so that we can not kill our computer, set display to 10. And now go down to children and set it to simple. Clump to negative 0.5. Uh, length to 0.9 the threshold to 0.5 and hmm, yeah radius 0.3 yeah Set the endpoint value to 0 0.005 and the shape to 2. Um, set random to 0 0.005, size to 2. And then if we turn up or turn the render down to 60 and turn the display up to 60, we can actually kind of see what those were doing. Okay, if we give that a render now, it's going to look terrible. <laughs> um, yeah, so let's go ahead and work on that. Um, yeah, so come back to the materials tab and for ground, go ahead and turn the intensity of the specularity all the way down and kind of give it a, an orangey color and turn down the uh, brightness. And that will give you brown. So, okay. Now under grass, go ahead and turn down the spe er, specularity to uh, 0.1 and change it to a fong type. Uh, give it a green color and a little bit of translucency. And that's going to look terrible still, but not as bad. Okay. Let's just turn the intensity a little bit down, I think. Turn the hardness up to about 350 and leave the intensity alone of the specularity. Now give it a uh, blend texture and set the coordinates to strand slash particle. Um, also, in the uh, preview, set it to two strands. Okay. Now go ahead and set transparency, or take transparency and set the alpha to zero. So now we have completely invisible grass. Um, come back over to the blend texture and tick ramp and then come down to influences and tick alpha. Um, so what we're doing is we're uh, faking ambient occlusion right there. So just give it a black color right there. So and come to about there and give it a, a green color. Make it decently dark, not too dark though. A little darker. Go ahead and give it a yellowy color there. And a little bit more yellow there. 
Okay. Let's just bump those up a little bit. And... That should be good. So if we render that, that now, it still won't look that great. Um, but it's looking better. It has some textures on it, and it's looking better. <laughs> Okay, so let's stop that. Um, just going to move the camera a little bit more. There we go. And render that now. Okay. So, it's still not looking that great. This is because uh, the particles themselves are really thick. Um, let's just bump up the colors a little bit more, though, first. So, just check. Okay, so the white is starting to go away, which is good. Um, so let's stop that now. Come over to the Materials tab, and under Strand, uh, set the root and the tip all the way down as far as they can go. Uh, also take blender units. This will let you get to smaller amounts. If we look up in the preview, it's almost completely gone. Now just uh, multiply the root by about 60, because the base of the grass is about 60 times bigger than the tip. Um, now if we bump up the minimum, it's kind of like multiplying it or multiplying the whole thing, and just maybe a little bit lower than that, about 0.62 for the minimum, and we can see that the grass is actually looking fairly good. Um, not enough lighting yet, but it's looking good. So let's go ahead and set up the lighting. Uh, select our default lamp here, and change it to a sun type. Hit Alt-R to clear rotation. Just move it along, uh, pull it to about the back of the grass, and rotate it around. Set the energy to 2, and give it a yellowy color. This will be acting as our sun. You may want to set the energy to something a little bit higher, like 3, but 2 seems to be working just fine. <coughs> So that's looking pretty good now. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and duplicate that lamp. Hit Alt-R again to remove the rotation. Set the uh, energy down to 0 0.2 and give it a bluish color. Uh, you may want to bump that up to about 0 0.4 for the energy, but 0 0.2 is going to work. Okay, so that's looking pretty good now. Um, okay. Let's just bump up the yellowy color a little bit more. You can play around with the lighting and get it to how you want it. Um, so when you're done, you should have something that looks kind of like this. Okay. Well, uh, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Um, please subscribe and comment if you have anything you want to comment on. Okay, so this is your end result. And I'll see you next time.